take a look at an overview of the inspector panel in Cubase. As you click over here, you'll see that you can highlight different tracks. This is track number two is highlighted, and this is track number one that's highlighted. Well, Cubase gives you this little inspector panel here, which you can hide or show by clicking on here. And what this inspector panel is, is different parameters and settings, such as volume and pan and EQ, for whichever channel happens to be highlighted. You notice when I click on channel one, it's showing me the EQ for channel one. And when I click on channel two, it's showing me the EQ for channel two. So let's look at the different parts of the inspector panel. The first part of the inspector panel is this little panel up top here. And you open it by clicking on the track number right here. We're just going to look at an overview of these. This would be the volume for whichever track is selected. This is track one. This is the volume for track two. This is the pan. We'll pan track one left and we'll pan track two right like that. You notice in Cubase that whenever you hold the control button down and you click on one of the settings, it returns it to zero. So this is your volume. This is your pan left and right for the selected track. This is your input. If you're recording, you'll select the sound card that you're inputting from. And this is your output, which is the sound card that you're listening from. So select this to the sound card that you're using to monitor uh, your, your music and your mixes. Over here, we have record enable. So you can record enable which track is there. You notice that some of these buttons right here on the track um, actually parallel these buttons over here. You have your record button right here. You have your mute button, which will mute the channel that's selected. Your solo button, which will mute all other channels than the channel selected. Your write automation, which we'll look at in another tutorial. Automation in Cubase is amazing. And any settings that you can move or change, be they effects or EQs or compressors or volumes or pans, you can automate them. And then over here is your read automation. And when you turn that on, your automation will play back and become active. If you set it off, then your automation will not work. This is your input monitor, so you can monitor the input to the channel. This is the default crossfade for the channel, which will go in depth in these in a later tutorial. This is your freeze audio, which we'll see in a later tutorial. Your lane displays and your lock channel. If you lock this channel, then you can't move anything over here. It's kind of a safety thing to keep, keep you from accidentally messing up a track. Whenever you see a little E button like this in Cubase, that means the edit window. So whatever this is, you open up the edit window, it'll show you all the different parameters of it. So this is showing me all the possibilities for the track that I just selected.